Hello, my dear class six students. Welcome back. I hope you are all well. And today we are going to start a new chapter that is chapter seven, uh, getting to know plants. Okay, so let's get to know uh, more details about the plants, about how many types of plants are there. And let's study every detail, okay? So first, plants, like how many types of plants like do you think uh, exist? So uh, plants in general are categorized into three parts, okay? Three, three parts, so the first one is herbs, okay? The first one is herbs. Clear? Now the second one is shrubs. S H R U B S. And the third one is tree. This is the most common one, right? Okay. So now how will you distinguish, like differentiate between these three types of plants? Uh, I'll give you one activity. Okay, one activity. So now you can just uh, take an example of yourself. And if you see any plants that is shorter than you, okay? If any plants that is shorter than you, then it will fall under these herbs. Clear? Now, if you see a plant of your same size, then that will fall under these shrubs. And if you see a plant way taller than you, then it will fall under tree, okay? So that's the first activity. So now, first, uh, we'll study about these three uh, types of plants in details. So let's uh, first discuss about their height, okay? So the herbs are, they are very short, okay? They are very short. Now, what about the shrubs? Now the shrubs are, they are taller than the herbs, but they are shorter than the tree, okay? So these shrubs, they are taller than, they are taller than, herbs, but shorter than tree. Clear? Now what about the tree? This is very tall, okay? Very tall. So I'm sure you're clear with the first point, okay? So this is about their height. Now, uh, I'll give example of the herbs, okay? Herbs, I'm sure you are familiar with the coriander, uh, uh, coriander leaves, right? So that plant uh, is an example of herbs. And there are many like the tulsi plant, or we have uh, the neem plant. These are all uh, the example of herbs. I'll give example here. Clear? Coriander, this, the local name is Dania, okay? You have seen how it grows, right? They are very short. Now, uh, I'll give another example. It will be Tulsi, clear? Now, there are lots, okay, there are lots. Now, let's discuss about the uh, example for shrubs, okay? So, uh, lemon, okay? And the other example is Durenta, clear. Now, the other example would be China Rose. China Rose. Clear. Now, for tree, that's very common. You can give any example, okay? I'll just give mango tree, okay? Mango tree. Clear. So, students, note this one down. Now, will discuss about their stems, their leaves, uh, and the other parts of the, uh, these tree plants, okay? So for now, you know these uh, points. Okay, so students, uh, let's say herbs, okay? Herbs. They are very short in height. So I'll just give this example, okay? Now shrubs, okay, now it will be, they will be little, Taller, they will be taller than the uh, herbs, or some plant will be like in this form as well. Okay. Now the tree. Right. So now let's uh, discuss about the stem. Okay, the stem. Now the herbs. 
for herbs, the stem, they are green, okay? They are green. They are green, okay? They are green in color. For the herbs, the stem is green in color. They are very tender, okay? Tender and they are non-woody, okay? Non-woody. They are non-woody. Clear? Now, what about the shrubs and the tree? Now, for the shrubs, the uh, stem, it's, it's thicker than, it's thicker than the herbs, okay? It's, it's thicker than the herbs. Clear? It's hard. In other words, it is hard. It's hard. Now, what about the tree? For the tree, it is very thick, very thick. It is, the stem is brown in color, right? Brown in color, brown in color. And we call it as what? Trunk. Clear? We call it as trunk. Now, uh, discussing about the stem, the stem for the herbs, it is easy to bend, okay? It is easy to bend. Right, you can easily uh, you can easily bend. Uh, you won't have trouble in bending these herbs. Okay, now but for shrubs and for tree, it, it's hard. Okay, you can't just bend them. Okay, so this is the second point regarding the stem. Okay, now we can just note these points down. We'll discuss about the third point. Okay. Okay, so students, now we'll discuss about the leaves. Okay, the the leaves for the herbs. Now for herbs, they have few leaves, okay? They have, they have few leaves. Now what about the shrubs? The, for shrubs, the leaves develop from the base itself, okay? Develop from the base. When I say base, means from the ground, okay? This means from the ground, ground. So the leaves develop from the ground itself. Now, what about the tree? For the tree, now that, see, you'll, you'll see the leaves or the branch uh, far apart, like from the stem, right? The distance between the ground, the distance between the ground and the branches is wide. See, you'll see the difference, okay? So this is uh, about the, the leaves. So let me repeat again, for herbs, the, there are few leaves. Now, uh, for shrubs, the leaves develop from the base. And three, the distance between uh, the branch and the ground is way higher than the other two, okay? So keep this in mind. Now, uh, we'll discuss next topic, clear? Okay, so students, apart from these three uh, types of plants, okay? apart from these three types of plant. Now, I'm sure you are familiar with these three types, right? These are, every day we see them. But apart from these three types of plant, we also have other types of plant, okay? And now, those plants that are very, those are very weak, or we'll say they have uh, weak stems, okay? weak stem and they cannot and they cannot stand like upright so we also have other two types of plants those are very weak and then they cannot stand upright that means the stem is weak and they cannot stand upright okay so what are those two uh, plants so the first one is creepers, okay, creepers. Creepers, and the other type of plant would be climbers. So see, from the name itself, you get it right. Creepers and climbers. These are two types of plant whose stem is very weak. Uh, they cannot stand upright. See, for herbs, uh, though the stem is uh, weak, they can stand upright. But 
For these creepers and for climbers, the stem is very weak and they cannot stand upright, okay? So for creepers, let me give example. The plant that will fall under the creepers would be, let's say, pumpkin. Okay, pumpkin or uh, we can, even the sweet potato, okay? Sweet potato, sweet potato or watermelon. Watermelon, clear? Now, what about the climbers? Climbers, the most common one is money plant. Money plant. Or we have the other one is bitter gourd. Okay. So in exam, if you are asked to give any example of uh, climber plants, you can give any one, okay? Or for creepers, you can just note these examples down. Clear? Okay. So students, from the example, we are, you are familiar how pumpkin grows, how uh, the sweet potato grows, and how the watermelon grows, right? Now, these creepers, uh, the creeper plant, they spread, okay? Since they cannot stand upright, they spread on the floor, okay? They spread on the, let's say, ground, okay? Uh, it's not floor, it's ground, okay? They spread on the ground, okay? Or they creep on the ground. They creep on the ground. So if you see any plant that, uh, that's, that is like uh, spreading on the ground, then those are creeper plant, okay? And climbers, not like uh, money plant. Climbers are those plant, okay? Climbers are those plant which take the support of the surrounding organism, okay? They take the, they need the support. In order to grow, they need a support. So they take the support of the surrounding organism, okay? Like, uh, if this is a tree, okay? Or, uh, let's say, wall. They can even grow in a wall, fence, tree. Now, money plant, if this is a tree, money plant grows like this, okay? So those type of plants are known as climbers. Clear? So not only tree, but they can even grow on the uh, wall. They can even grow on the fence. Clear? So you can just take note of this. Apart from the three uh, types of plant, we also have, and in addition, we, have, we also have another two types of plant. Those stems are very weak, clear. So just make note of these two plants, okay? The creepers and climbers. Creepers, they spread on the ground, and climbers, they take the support of their surrounding one, clear? Okay, now uh, we are done with the first part, that is uh, the types of plant, and uh, the next topic will study about the parts of the plant, okay? And the parts of the plant is very important, we'll study uh, each point in details. So you just make note of all these points. So my dear class six students, we are done with the types of the plant and now our second topic, okay? Our second topic for today would be the parts of plant, okay? So let's take just a simple example, okay? So now we have root, right? So this is the root, okay? Now we have this, this is the stem, okay? This is the stem. Now, let's say this is the uh, leaf, okay? So this is the leaf. And now, let's say this is the flower, okay? Flower. So generally, we have these four types. That is flower, leaf, stem, and root. So this one will be, fall, uh, this will fall under the root system, okay? This will fall under the root system. And then this one will fall under the upper part, okay? Will fall under the shoot system, okay? Shoot system. So in the root system, we have this root, and the shoot system, we have flower, leaf, and stem. So we'll study about 
all this in details. Okay, we'll study about all this in detail. So first, let's start with the uh, root. Okay, first let's start with the root, then stem, then leaf and flower. So dear students, today we'll complete the root system. Okay, the root system. And in the next class, we'll continue the shoot system. So in the root system, we have root, right? So what, what is the function of root? The roots support the plant, right? They keep the plant in position, okay? By keeping their position firmly attached with the soil, okay? Firmly attached with the soil. Now, it is very difficult to pull out the plant or any plant, right? Why? Because they are deeply rooted, okay? They are deeply rooted deep inside the soil. So, it is very difficult. Now, how many types of root do we have? We have two types of root, okay? We have two types of root, that is... Tap root, tap root, and fibrous root, fibrous root. Clear? Keep this in mind. How many types of root do we have, students? We have two types, that is tap root and fibrous root. So students, I'm sure now you are clear with the, uh, their names, right? Tap root and fibrous root. Now, I'll show you an example. Now, tap root. Tap root would be, okay, now you, you can take example of the herbs, okay? I, I've already given an example for the herb, right? Like the coriander leaf or like the uh, tulsi plant, right? All these are example of herbs. Now, for them, if you just see their root, you'll have one, you'll have one main root, okay? You'll have one main root root okay for tap root will have one main root and that will be long okay it will be long and from the side part okay from the side side will uh, it will develop a lateral root small small root will develop from the main root okay so this is the long main root and this one would be the lateral lateral root okay lateral root so let's say this is this is herb okay this is a herb so this is an example of the tap root okay this is an example of a tap root for tap root you remember that we'll have one main long root okay and then from the long root from the side side uh, it will develop a lateral small small root okay now, what about the fibrous root? Fibrous root, okay, you can take example uh, grass, okay? You can take example of any grass for fibrous. This is an example of tap root, okay? This is an example of tap root. This is an example of tap root. Now, for fibrous root, if suppose this is the plant, okay? This is, if this is the plant, then the root, okay? The root would be it will just develop from the base, okay? There is no long root. The difference is, in the fibrous root, there is no long root, okay? All the roots are like similar and it will develop from the base of the plant, of the stem, okay? So this is the main difference, difference between the tap root and fibrous root. Fibrous root, keep in mind, absence of the long root, the roots will develop from the base, right? Now, the tap root, the difference is we have a one single long root, okay? And this is the main root, and from the side, it will develop a small, small lateral root. This we find in the herb plant, okay? So, uh, in the parts of plant, we are done with the root system, and in the next class, we'll continue with the shoot system uh, that will compose of the flower, leaf, and stem, okay? So students, take note of all the points and uh, we'll continue in the next class. Thank you so much.